In this problem, we're going to find the unit tangent vector given this vector value function r, and we're going to evaluate it at t equals pi over 4. So the formula for the unit tangent vector is big T of little t, and it's equal to the derivative of r divided by the magnitude of the derivative of r. From a physical perspective, if you think of r as a, your position function, then the derivative is the velocity. So we've taken the velocity vector, which is r prime of t, and we've divided by its magnitude. So what we've done is we've taken the velocity vector and we've turned it into a unit vector. This is called normalizing, the process of taking a vector and turning it into a unit vector by dividing by its magnitude is called normalizing. So this is the normalized velocity uh, vector. Okay, let's work through this very carefully. So we'll start by taking the derivative of r. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this is negative 3 sine t i hat. And the derivative of sine is cosine, so this is 3 cosine t j hat. At this point, we can go ahead and plug in pi over 4 if we like, or we can wait uh, until later. Um, I don't think it matters too much. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and plug it in. So pi over 4. By the way, the reason we can plug it in is because we're pretty much done. Like, we have our prime. We don't need to differentiate anymore, so we're in a position... Or we're done taking derivatives, so we can plug in the number. So this is negative 3 sine of pi over 4, i hat, plus 3 times the cosine of pi over 4, j hat. So the sine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2. This will be negative 3 square root of 2 over 2, i hat. Plus, and then the cosine of pi over 4 is also the square root of 2 over 2. So we have j hat. Okay, now we just have to find the magnitude of this thing. So let's go ahead and do that. So the magnitude of r prime at pi over 4 is equal to the square root, and then you're supposed to square each of the components. So we have negative 3 square root of 2 over 2 squared plus then we have 3 square root of 2 over 2 squared. So this is equal to, let's see, squaring each piece. If you square the 3, you get 9. If you square the square root of 2, you get 2. And if you square the 2 on the bottom, you get 4. Okay, same thing over here, plus 9. Square the square root of 2, you get 2. Square the 2 on the bottom, you get 4. So this is going to be the square root of... This is 9 times 1 half, right? 9 times 2 fourths is 9 times 1 half. So it's just 9 halves. So we get 9 halves plus 9 halves. So that's... Um, 9, <laughs> right? Half of 9 plus half of 9 is 9, right? It's 9 over 2 plus 9 over 2. You can do it this way too. You can do 18 over 2, which is 9. Or you can think of it as 1 half times 9 plus 1 half times 9 is 1 times 9, which is 9. Because 1 half, you have half plus a half, which is a whole. So 3. Okay. So the final answer, the final answer here is basically going to be this thing here, and then we're going to divide each of the components by 3. So we'll end up with negative root 2 over 2 i hat, because the 3's will cancel, right? You'll cancel this 3 with this one when you divide by it, and then this one will cancel too, so you'll get plus square root of 2 over 2 j hat. Oh, and this is not a t of t, this is t of pi over 4. So that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.